This week on the show, we have Renata Valuyinya, who is a TikTok star and content creator with over 13 million followers and over 614 million likes. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding why playing it safe will always keep you stuck. The reality is our minds are programmed to convince us to stay where it feels safe and comfortable. Doing anything that makes us feel uncomfortable instantly gives a signal to our brains, giving an alert to stop at all costs. But here's the thing, growing and becoming the best version of ourselves requires taking risks and being bold, which comes with pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. So often, we mistake the voice in our head that says, don't do it, it will feel uncomfortable, as validation that we should stay stuck. Sometimes all it takes is making the decision to do something and without overthinking it, springing into action before our minds try to interfere by giving us doubt. Making your mission today to quit playing it safe and instead commit to stepping out of your comfort zone daily. Whether that's speaking up and asking for what you want or simply a small task such as making the first conversation with a stranger at an event. After all, life is too short not to live life to the fullest. As the saying goes, outside your comfort zone is where the magic happens. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. Mm -hmm. And let's fast forward and talk about your TikTok channel. I know that you have over 13 million followers and over 614 million views. So for our viewers that don't know, tell us a little bit about the content you make. So I do make a little bit of everything. I make some trends, I make some funny videos, lifestyle, fashion, lip sync, beauty. I just trying myself, you know, pretty much at everything. Yeah, and I did see that you're doing some martial arts um, and uh, stunt work. So let's talk about that. How did you get into that space? So I always was inspired by extreme sports since I was young. I used to do skydiving oh, wow. and a lot of other things. And when I moved here, I was like, I want to try do something with my strength, but I don't want to go to the gym and I want to try to do something with my body like stunts. It's really just attracted me a lot and I had a lot of passion about it. And I just started doing it. And at first I didn't want to pause it at all because I'm such a perfectionist. If I'm pausing something, it has to be perfect. And I'm not perfect because I just started doing martial arts, but I showed my friends and my family and they were like, Renata, you got to pause it. Maybe some people are going to find motivation to start doing sport or start doing something in the like later age. And I started pausing and doing well and people really like it a lot. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have TikTok star and content creator Renata Valuyinya. With over 13 million followers and over 614 million likes, Renata is making her mark in the content creation space, covering topics like fashion, travel, and beauty. Hi, Renata, how are you? Thank you for being on the show today. Hello, I'm good. How are you? I am doing very well. I'm very excited to talk to you and about your journey. I know that growing up in Moscow, you had a dream to have your talent seen all over the world. So tell us about that time in your life. So I used to watch YouTube videos since I was like seven, eight years old about fashion, about lifestyle, about traveling. And I always just dreamed about it one day because my family couldn't really afford it. And I always liked styling outfits, but I didn't have a lot of clothes, so I tried my best. I even had my mom's phone to pretend I'm blogging, oh, but wow. I've never posted because I didn't know how to use YouTube back yeah. then. I was so young. <laughs> yeah. And I know that you started modeling when you were 10 years old and you were seen on a couple of local um, Russian TV stations. So tell us about that and what kind of steps did you take to make your dream a reality? Mm -hmm. So I started modeling a little bit later, uh, around 12, and I started first with acting. So my mom noticed it that I'm really interested in the theater, in the movie industry. I like learning poetry a lot and memorizing it. So one day she saw a billboard with a call castings for kids and she asked me if I want to try and we tried it and it went well and that's how I started my acting career and later on my mom and me decided to take a professional portfolio for my acting and we hired a professional photographer, we took some photos and I posted them on Instagram 
and photographer posted them on Instagram too. And they went viral for some reason. I don't know oh, how. Wow. They just got really popular. And that's how modeling agency found me and they reached out to my mom and that's how I got a contract with them. Very nice. I feel like moms know best, right? I know for me yeah. too, <laughs> she saw a sign for pageants and my mom signed mm -hmm. me up for the Miss Universe oh, Canada. Really? Yeah, the Miss Canada International. And I didn't really want to do it at the time, but when I look back, I gained so much confidence and experience, but moms yeah. know best. So. <laughs> yeah, it really helps with your confidence like, when you start at an early age, so you can like exactly, exactly be in the front of the camera and don't feel shy, you know. Exactly, and I know mm. you were inspired by other content creators. Uh, that's why you got into this industry. Tell us about some content creators you were inspired by and why. Um, you know that wasn't really any specific content creators. I just like the idea in general of being a content creator. I watched a lot of different types of videos. It's uh, Sometimes I just watch videos, you know, mm -hmm. and about on about TikTok content content creators. Uh, I wasn't really inspired by TikTok creators. My biggest inspiration was moving to the US and I knew it's really huge here, TikTok. And I was like, hmm, I think it's a good idea to start doing it before moving to the US. So I would have like a base here. So I would have something to move with. So I started doing TikTok before I moved here and I started getting like my followers even though I wasn't being here physically people already was knowing me here so kind of weird but really interesting how social media works <laughs> yeah that's the great thing about social media right people from all over the <laughs> world get to share your journey and see your content so that's the great thing about social media and let's talk about that jump from the US from Moscow to the US mm -hmm. what kind of opportunities opened up for you when you moved Obviously, here's a lot of significantly more opportunities than in Moscow and like in any industry, in acting industry, in the fashion industry, in social media in industry, any contact you want to make, you're going to make it here. Like you can meet so many talented people who you can work with or create or collaborate. So it's so many opportunities here. Mm -hmm. And let's fast forward and talk about your TikTok channel. I know that you have over 13 million followers and over 614 million views. So for our viewers that don't know, tell us a little bit about the content you make. So I do make a little bit of everything. I make some trends, I make some funny videos, lifestyle, fashion, lip sync, beauty. I just trying myself, you know, pretty much at everything. <laughs> yeah, and I did see that you're doing some martial arts. Um, and uh, stunt work. So let's talk about that. How did you get into that space? So I always was inspired by extreme sports since I was young. I used to do skydiving oh, wow. and a lot of other things. And when I moved here, I was like, I want to try do something with my strength, but I don't want to go to the gym and I want to try to do something with my body like stunts. It's really just attracted me a lot and I had a lot of passion about it. And I just started doing it. And at first I didn't want to pause it at all because I'm such a perfectionist. If I'm pausing something, it has to be perfect. And I'm not perfect because I just started doing martial arts, but I showed my friends and my family and they were like, Renata, you got to pause it. Maybe some people are going to find motivation to start doing sport or start doing something in the like later age. And I started pausing and doing well and people really like it a lot. Yeah, I saw some of the videos and they're incredible. Like you look like a professional doing it for sure. What kind of training goes into something like that? So it requires a lot of discipline. Like yeah. I'm training every day, two hours a day, five times a week. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm doing boxing, I'm doing some strength. So um, I'm doing some strength training, some cardio, some I'm learning some stunts and acrobatic movements. Mm -hmm. And with your experience now with stunt work and martial arts, do you see yourself one day maybe working in Hollywood? And if so, who would be your dream collab? Of course, it's a uh, literally my dream where I'm going to. I want to act and I want to do my own stance that how I see myself in the future because it's going to be really challenging and I think really rewarding for myself because I really enjoy the process of doing something like a stance. Yeah. And so, of course, I see myself uh, in the future, eventually in the Hollywood industry, movie industry. But I 
wouldn't say I have my dream collab. I think just any movie would be amazing. I would appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I think motion capture would be really good for you too. Yeah. Last week on the show, we had uh, Stephanie Panasillo. She's actually from Resident Evil. Uh, she, mm -hmm. She's in the video game and the movie, and she does a lot of uh, stunt work, all kinds of stuff. So I can totally see that for you. The sky's the That's limit. That's amazing. Yeah, so I hope so in the closest future. But now I'm learning English and just getting used to everything. And you know, a lot of your popularity grew when you started sharing your you know, your experience moving to the U.S. and having to adapt to the culture here, because obviously it's very different. So tell us about that and how you adapted. You know, uh, for some reason, since I was really young, I really liked L.A. and I always wanted to move here. And I, when I started moving, it was only exciting for me, like no fear at all. I just bought one way ticket and I didn't know what I'm going to do, but I like it here. And I'm just really happy I made this decision and my adaptation to this culture was pretty good because I surrounded myself with a lot of Americans who really helped me a lot to understand the culture and learn the language and I really appreciate them for helping me. So I guess I just got really lucky with my surrounding. Absolutely. I love LA. I mean, who doesn't love LA? It's a great city. <laughs> and especially in our industry, it's uh, definitely there's lots of opportunities there. But I do feel like, of course, it takes a level of risk, right, to like leave your country and go somewhere yeah. else. So let's talk about how risk has played um, a factor in your success. I think the one thing I really miss is my family because I'm really close to my family. So that's the only thing was kind of worried me all the time because I'm not going to see my family for a while. But we every day on FaceTime, we're talking to each other all the time. So we're good, but I really miss them and everything else. You know, I didn't really want to stay in my home country and I didn't feel any risk. I knew I kind of belong here. So I just felt that I have to be here. So yeah that's the best way to do it to not overthink it mm -hmm. you have the dream exactly. just go do it don't overthink it right because yeah. that's what over overthinking kills your dreams and mm -hmm. if you're thinking about stress and your problems you're gonna even attract more problems and stress to your life you know exactly yeah i i'm a big fan of the law of attraction and manifesting so. oh my god me too yeah the yeah law of so i am like practicing lucky girl syndrome everything so i completely mm -hmm. agree with you you know not For to helpless on your level of frequency, you get attracted to your life, yes. Exactly, so yeah, mm -hmm. if you think about problems, you're gonna get problems, but if you think about opportunity, that's what you're gonna see, so I love that. And Renata, I created my platform to inspire, to uplift, and really showcase that anything is possible if you have a dream and a vision. So I wanna ask you, what are some obstacles that you faced when getting into this industry? How did you get through it? And what advice would you have for someone watching that wants to do what you're doing? I would always say just believe in yourself and believe in your beliefs, like mm -hmm. really stay with them because this industry is pretty tough for new people. So you just got to stick with yourself. And another thing, I believe that fears and like fears and stress comes from for not living in the moment and thinking about the future and past. And when people are thinking about future and past, you're never gonna like, you know, achieve that true happiness. So I would say just really try to live uh, in the present moment and don't think about future and past and think about what you want. And the same, the law of attraction, really good to know and just think about opportunities and you're gonna attract more opportunities in your life. I think that's so true. You know, so many mm -hmm. of us are focused on the past or thinking about the future and we forget to live in the present moment and really like, you know, that's where life is happening, right? In the present moment. So I think that's a great piece of advice to just be present and think about the now opposed to always living in the future because that's where really unhappiness happens, right? So mm -hmm. I think that's great advice. And Renata, what else are you working on right now? What are your current projects? Um, so. Obviously, I'm working in martial arts because it just really requires a lot of time. I'm making my daily content, as always, some beauty life hacks, lifestyle videos. And closest project, I would say, New York Fashion Week. I'm getting ready for New York Fashion Week. It's going to be my first time. And I'm just trying to create some concepts for my outfits and ideas for makeup. So I would say 
this is my closet project, yes. Very nice. And I have to ask you, I have to ask you about social media. For anyone that's watching that wants to be a content creator and, you know, has this dream to do it, but maybe is scared to take that risk or doesn't know how to, what would you say to inspire them? First, if you really want to do this, just do this. Don't think about anything else. And second thing, and a key to success, I think is consistently. If you're doing something consistently, you're gonna be successful in this thing. Just you gotta stick with that. And I think the most important thing is don't overcomplicate things. There's no needs. Just like if something did well on your TikTok or Instagram, just repeat it over and over again. That's how you're gonna find your type of videos. And if it doesn't do well again, just try to change the different type of video or try something new and if something doing well again just repeat it again i yeah. think it's like really easy just repeat and be consistent like yeah i think consistency like, is key for sure like when i started uh during TikTok, i used to post like seven videos a day for three months like really like every day five seven seven videos a day and it did it helped me i did well <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think people get so stuck on the views. If they don't see views, then they feel discouraged, but it's the consistency, right? Most people that have gained success in anything, it took them a long time. It took them consistency and then they saw the results, right? You're not going to see it right away. It's, it, it, you have no. to be consistent with it. So I think that's great yeah. advice. Renata, thank you so much for being on the show today. Congratulations on all your success. Good luck at New York Fashion Week. I'm looking forward to seeing all your outfits. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch live through YouTube and Facebook.